My name is uh, Representative Will Stevens. I'm from Shoreham, and I represent the Addison Rutland District, which includes the towns of Shoreham, Orwell, Benson, and Whiting. As a vegetable grower of 31 years, that uh, as a first generation farmer, in a way, is that uh, I don't I don't feel as though it's um, good enough to have successive generations of first generation farming and forest activity. Uh, we need to uh, perpetuate those folks who are already uh, have that cultural background in agriculture and the forest products world. Act 142 created the Working Lands Enterprise Board, uh, which oversees the Working Lands Enterprise Fund, which is a pot of money consisting of about a million dollars uh, that's designed to leverage uh, funding from the private sector as well as the uh, foundation uh, philanthropic. So anything in the ag and forest product sector uh, will be possibly af affected by this, including sawmills, uh, value-added enterprises where they take Vermont products and turn it into something of uh, higher value. Um, uh, well, could include any cheeses and canned goods or any of that type of thing. Um, infrastructural needs as well, a facility. You know, the working landscape without the enterprises that work the land uh, is uh, Disneyland. And so for me, uh, this, this enhances what I'll call our cultural landscape, which is the scenery that we like to uh, recreate in and drive through and, so, and take advantage of and so forth with the people in the enterprises that actually help make it happen. That's the key piece. Big ask this year uh, is for five, the 5 by 3 uh, proposal, which is $5 million for each of the next three years to continue to fund uh, the efforts of the Working Lands Board uh, so that um, they can build on the success of the applications so far. You can reach me at wstevens at leg.state.vt.us.